Hi, this is Mark Anderson. And Crawford Anderson. And we are here with you today with the Hope Worldwide Home Edition. That's right, the Hope Worldwide Home Edition coming to you because of, of course, coronavirus. We hope you are well. Yes. Today, we are going to explain to you how we're going to take the six domains of resilience and apply them to the art of sales. The art of sales, that's right, Crawford. The yep. art of sales, yes. You might think, wait. How is a young person involved in sales? Well, young people might be selling what, Crawford? Uh, Boy Scout popcorn, uh, Cub Scout popcorn, Girl Scout cookies, attractions books for your school, or any other type of fundraiser for your organization. That's right. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's set the stage to where and when you might be selling. When I was a Boy Scout, I sold popcorn door to door, which means she's going to everyone's houses on your block. and going to stores, go up to people, shake their hands, ask them how they were doing, and try to convince them to buy my product. In sales, the first thing you want to do is connect with the person that you're selling your product to. Introduce yourself and say your name clearly. For example, you might want to shake their hand, ask them how they're doing, or how their day is. Next, we have your vision and your goal setting. You're going to tell your customer why or what you're raising money for and what the money is going to help. For example, if you're selling popcorn for your Boy Scout troop, you can say, I'm raising money to send my Boy Scout troop to camp. Or if you're raising money for Girl Scouts, you can say some other reason. Also, if you're selling for attractions books or some other thing for school, you can say it's gonna be for textbooks or any other equipment that you might use at school. You're also gonna say your goals. So my goal might be to sell $1,000 worth of my product. Next, we have composure. I know sales might be a little bit intimidating for some of you guys out there, but after you introduce yourself, you want to introduce your product. For example, my brother Hugh had composure when he was raising money for the American Heart Association. He introduced himself, then introduced the reason why he was raising money. If you happen to be selling something that's not for a fundraiser and maybe for your own monetary gain, you can explain why the customers should buy the product, not what the money is going towards. For example, the other day I was selling lemonade. I was not fundraising for any particular reason, but I still wanted people to come and buy some lemonade. So when people passed by, I yelled, cold fresh lemonade or the best lemonade on the block, and that sure got them to stop. Sometimes you have to problem solve on your feet. <laughs> that could mean when somebody says that they don't have cash, you could say, I'll come back tomorrow around four. Instead of saying, do you like popcorn? You could ask a more open-ended question. Which type of popcorn looks more delicious to you? My personal favorite is the white chocolatey pretzels. Next, we have perseverance. After you stand in front of a store for three hours or go to 50 houses selling your product, you may feel tired and have gotten a lot of no's. This is called perseverance because you have to push through. And that brings us to our final point. Even if you get a definite no from the person you're trying to sell your product to, you should still say thank you and have a great day and shake their hand one last time. Now we'll see all of this in action as my brother sells Boy Scout popcorn. Hello. Hi, I'm, my name is Hugh and I'm selling popcorn for Cub Scouts. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, can I show you what to offer? Sure. My favorite, we got all these. My favorite one is the classic caramel. Your favorite flavor? Ooh, my favorite flavor? Oh, that chocolatey caramel crunch looks delicious. I love chocolate. Thank you for supporting Scouts. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in to this video of the Hope Worldwide Spark Academy Home Edition. I hope that you have learned how to apply the six domains of resilience in sales.